My name is Jennifer Seville, and I just wanted to thank you guys for joining us today for BioBytes. Today we're going to be talking about a very special frog called the Koki frog. These frogs are native to the island of Puerto Rico. There are 17 different species of Koki frogs. Out of the 17 species, three of them are already extinct. 11 of them are critically endangered, and three are pretty common. So these frogs, are, they're not doing too well over on the island, and we're here to help them any way that we can. Koki frogs are like no other amphibian in the world. They actually go through their entire tadpole stage inside of an egg. So when the kokis hatch out of the egg, they're a fully formed froglet. They only get to be about three inches. The largest species only gets to be about three inches. They're little brown frogs, but they have an amazing call. When the koki is called together, it is the most beautiful sound in the world. Each of the species has a different call, and they chorus, it, they chorus together and make this gorgeous song that is enchanting the island of Puerto Rico. The koki frogs are also very important to Puerto Rico because they mean so much to the Puerto Rican community. Much like the bald eagle means to us here in the United States, the kokis are iconic to Puerto Rico. Children fall asleep at night listening to the koki frogs outside their window and hearing fables from their parents and their grandparents about the koki frogs. So this is something that is very strong in every Puerto Rican's heart. There are several diseases out there that are wiping out our amphibian populations worldwide, including a very detrimental fungus called the chytrid fungus, the amphibian chytrid fungus. That is found over in Puerto Rico. It's also found here in New Mexico. So this is a very serious problem that amphibians, frogs, toads, salamanders are facing even here in our own backyard. So here at the Albuquerque Biopark Zoo, we have the only captive population of a very critical species of koki called Eleutherodactylus locustus. And I know that's a really long name. The common name is the locust koki. These frogs are very rare. There's less than 200 specimens left in the wild down in the rainforest of Puerto Rico. What we're trying to do here at the zoo is breed them in captivity so we can take all of that husbandry data and all of that reproduction data and give it back down to the University of Puerto Rico so they can utilize it there for their projects. And hopefully in the future we'll be able to do some reintroduction work where we actually take baby frogs, those teeny tiny little frogs, and release them back into their natural home. The other portion of this conservation project is a staff exchange program where we bring up students from the University of Puerto Rico and from Projecto Coqui, which is the in situ Coqui conservation initiative, and we train them on how to work with these animals back down in Puerto Rico. Coqui frogs, like all frogs, are very important to our environment, even here in New Mexico. Frogs eat all kinds of inverts, bugs, spiders, everything that you don't want crawling on you, frogs will eat, so it's important that we conserve them. If you would like to see the koki or any of the other amazing reptiles and amphibians that we have here, please join us at the ABQ Biopark Zoo.